Yes, my friends of P1, you're welcome to the new lesson. Once again, I'm Miss Betty Kanyi, a teacher of Literacy One A Social Studies, which you love so much. Remember uh, to, to leave whatever you're doing and you get ready so that we can discuss together. If you've been doing lots of work, please leave whatever you, you've been doing, forget. Leave it aside, and we discuss together in a normal way so that you can contribute. I need your contribution because it will help this lesson to be a good lesson. We are going to discuss the roles. Remember, we discussed people in our community, different people in different communities. Now, today's lesson, just to discuss about their roles, their duties, their responsibilities. So as you sit there, please think about those people we have discussed about. People in our community, what is their work? Which work do they do? So we are going to, to look at their work. Are you ready for that? You can leave whatever you are doing and we discuss together. I've seen some people not still serious. They are still playing. Leave whatever you are playing. Leave your, your toys there. We, should, we will play with them later and we discuss roles of people. Can you try to think about the roles of people in our community? Which work do people work, do in our communities? You can try to think so that we can cross-check yours, your roles with mine, your duties with mine. Yes? So I, as I've said, roles of people in our community, we can say roles, we can say duties, we can say work. Anything you want to use. Roles, duties, or work. What do they do? So we are going to see what do those people exactly do in their community. People and their work. We start. We have doctors. Doctors, I told you doctors. We spelled, you know that spelling. Now today we are discussing the role, the work of a doctor. When you go to the hospital and they say, hey, you need to see a doctor. Now, what do you expect? When they say, you need to see a doctor, what, should, what is the doctor going to do for you? The doctor treats patients. Just now I'm going to the doctor to get treatment. The doctor treats sick patients. That word patient means sick people. If you're sick, you're called a patient. Yes, when you're sick, you are patient. So a doctor treats sick patients. Then which other people do we have in the community and their work? We have this one, nurse. If he's one, he's called a nurse. If there are many, we call them nurses. Nurses, their work is simple, to care. When you reach in the hospital, they welcome you and they care for you. If it is time to go to the doctor, they are the ones who say, okay, now you can see the doctor. But they care for you. If it is to give the tablets, they are the ones to give. If it's different, whatever, to, to measure your temperature, they are the ones. The work of the nurse to care. So if I ask you, who cares? When you come at school here, we have nurses. They care for you. If you are not feeling well, they take in the sick and they care. So if I ask you, what's the work of a nurse? The work of a nurse is to care for the patient, not to treat, just to care. Then we have others like teachers. Teachers. Yes, you love teachers, you're missing them so much. But do you know their work? Hey, ask that person who is next yet. What's the work of a teacher? And that person has to answer you. What has the person said? Yes, to teach. The major, the main work of a teacher is to teach pupils. Yes, to teach, to guide, to counsel. Yes, if I ask you who teaches you at school, you have to know he's a teacher. And why do you need a teacher? You need a teacher to teach you. That's why you are missing us. Mm -hmm. But now that's what we decided that, ah, let us bring e-learning so that you can be discussing with your teachers. I think you're enjoying e-learning. So we have other people like 
imam in the community needs prayers in the mosque. Mosque, mosque it is M-O-S-Q-U-E. Mosque, so imam leads prayers in the mosque. Imam is also one of the people we find in our community. So we, when you find imam, don't ask, hey, what's the work of imam? Yeah, imam is to lead prayers in the mosque. Then we have other people in the community like carpenter. We have to spell that carpenter, C-A-R-P-E-N-T-E-R. Carpenter, we have some small words there, car, pen, and enter. Now, if you go to a carpenter, what do you expect? What's the main work of the carpenter? Eh, do you know the main work of the carpenter? Think about it. He makes furniture. Do you know examples of furniture? Do you have furniture at home? Do you have chairs? Think about furniture. Do you have beds? Do you have cupboards? That's all done, the work done by the carpenter. So when they say, oh, I want to meet the carpenter, if you have, don't have a chair, or if your chair has a problem, if your bed has a problem, if your cupboard is the carpenter to work on it. So the main work of the carpenter is to make furniture. Furniture is a very long word, but you need to practice as you are at home so that you can learn the proper spelling of furniture. So a carpenter makes furniture. F-U-R-N-I-T-U-R-E, furniture. If I ask you, who makes furniture? Carpenter. Give me examples of furniture. These ones are mentioning like desk, bench, chair. You can also help me to mention others, yes? Uh-huh, like beds. Yes, do you have them at home? Cupboards, yes, do you have them at home? Those are examples of furniture. Then he makes also things out of wood. Do you know what we call wood? Wood is like the timber we have, timber. Now, can you give me examples of things we make out of timber or out of wood? Yes. Someone has said pencil, ruler, like the blackboard ruler. Yes, like the, those chairs you're seated on, like those tables and the desks. Yes. So it's very important in our community because he makes that. When I say furniture, don't say, eh, furniture is a big word. Furniture means those things, my dear friends, like the chairs, the benches, and the beds. Then we have barber. Barber, when you grind your hair, is shabby, is disorganized. You sit in the salon, it is the barber to come and trim and and make you smart. So Barbara trims off our hair. If you don't want long hair like me, I like short hair. Yes, if you don't want to make it long, then you have to visit the salon whereby you'll find a barber to trim it and you look smart. Like mine, I think when you look at my hair, I'm also smart, not so? Yes, so when you, it trims, you look smart rather than leaving it to be shabby. Hey, we have other people in the community like the cobra. Can you say cobra? The, let's spell cobra together. C-O-B-B-L-E-R, cobra. What is the work of the cobra? Yes, you have shoes. If your shoes are not in the right way, maybe they are cut. You are supposed to visit the workshop where the cobra sits. You take your shoe there, and the cobra mends it. So if your shoe is not okay, don't you say, um, uh, don't take to a different person. You're supposed to get your shoes, take them to the cobra, who will mend them properly, so that you can walk in the right way. Yes, cobra mends shoes. Mm -hmm. So we have another person in the community that is a mechanic. Can you say mechanic? Mechanic is an English word. Yes, a mechanic. Let's spell mechanic. M-E-C-H-A-N-I-C. -E mechanic. If your car is in a poor condition, you take it to the mechanic. Why? You want him to repair your car so that you can, you, you can be safe on the road. 
So if your father has got a problem on the way, or your mother, advise them to take that car to the mechanic. Because a mechanic is the one who repairs vehicles in case they're in poor conditions. Never allow those people to drive you in cars which are in poor conditions. Advise them, please, let's go to the mechanic so that we can make it right and we move. So we have doctor. We, we looked at the doctor. He's there. Our doctor is there, ready, you can see. Ready to treat the patient. The patient is there, miserable, very sick, and the doctor is here, going to, take, to treat him. So when I ask you to write some people in the community, you write the doctor, and what's the work of the doctor? To treat patients. We have the nurse, N-U-R-S-E, nurse, cares for patients. The nurse is here caring, even when you're giving tablets, when you're giving medicine, when you just go and talk to them, that's good care. They feel better, by the way, when the nurse talks to them. Even if someone is very ill and the nurse goes near, how oh, tries to, to respond, because the nurse has gone to take care. So if I ask you, the one who, who takes care of patients, it is the nurse. Who takes care of you? or oh, who takes care of sick pupils at school is the nurse. We have teacher. Teacher again is here. Oh, very smart here with the child teaching and other children are here. He's teaching this one how to write on the board, but others are here ready to learn to attend the lesson. So that teacher teaches pupils. Pupils are these ones, your pupils, I said, when you put on a uniform and you enter school, you go in the classroom, you are not a child, you are a pupil. Is the right word to use? Yes? Oh, Imam is there. Have you seen the picture of your Imam is here? He's going to lead the prayers in the mosque. You see? The mosque is there. The Quran is here. He's very smart on the head here. Imam leads prayers in the mosque. In case I ask you, who leads the prayers in the mosque? By the way, this word is a tricky mosque. Can we spell mosque together? M-O-S-Q-U-E. Mosque. Yes, it's a tricky word, but you must learn it. Where our friends, the Muslims, go for prayers. So Muslims go for prayers in the mosque. And who leads the prayers in the mosque? The one who holds prayers in the mosque is Imam. Imam is I M A M. Imam. So Imam leads prayers in the mosque. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Hey, where is the carpenter? Have you seen the carpenter? They are here, they are busy making furniture. And we said examples of furniture, you can see mm, basic examples. You see, they are making even stools, they are making even tables. You see, these are carpenters. So the carpenter makes it furniture. And all the furniture is there, you can learn it under proper spelling. F-U-R-N-I-T-U-R, furniture. If I ask you who makes furniture, please, you should be able to say carpenter. And what the carpenter is here, C-A-R-P-E-N-T-E-R, -E carpenter. So the carpenter makes furniture. When I ask you who makes furniture, don't you cry. You just tell me, carpenter makes furniture. Ha, barber, barber, B-A-R-B-E-R, -E trims of our hair. Have you seen his trimming of hair? I also, I, I normally also go and they trim mine. So this one is also trimming. If you want to trim, where do you go? To the barber. Yes. You have seen these ones always operate from the salon. So when you go to the salon, you'll find a barber ready to attend to you. Yes. Then we have the cobra. Ah. He's here very happy, smiling. Oh, he's here very busy mending the shoes. Have you seen? 
So, cobra means shoes. What does the cobra do? A cobra means shoes is here. If someone asks you, who means shoes? Then you have to say cobra. But do you know the spelling? Yes, it's easy. C-O-B-B-L-E-R. Then they will ask you, what does the cobra mean? A cobra means shoes. Good. Ah, uh -huh. I told to you. I told you that we have the mechanic. They are here in the garage. They are here repairing different cars here. So a mechanic repairs machine. If you have any machine, if you have a car, if you have a bike, so a mechanic, his work is to repair the machine. So if your machine is what? Spoiled, don't, don't cry. Just go to the mechanic and they repair it. So, my dear friends, we've been discussing people and their roles, people and their work. This time round, I said, ah, let me at least set some simple activity for, for my good P1s, boys and girls, yes? So I have the activity here. Let's read it together. Let's read it together. Who treats sick people in a hospital? Yes, you are going to put for me the answer. Number two, what is the work of a nurse? You put for me the answer. Why do we need a teacher in our community? Do we need a teacher? Yeah, you put the reason here why we need a teacher. Number four, what does a carpenter do? What does a carpenter do? You put the answer. Who trims off people's hair? That is the activity I have for you, my good boys and girls. Thank you for listening. Keep sanitizing and stay safe.